Hey everybody. Um, as is so often the case with these videos, I was having a conversation with patients today <laughs> and uh, there's a patient that was mentioning to me um, that he knew several people who had undergone back surgery. And so I wanted to make sure that everybody kind of knew what services that we had available um, to help, pay, help people prevent that. And even if it's not for you personally, um, you know, it might be somebody that you know that's suffering with a bulging disc, herniated disc, stenosis, sciatica, uh, degenerative joint disease, different things like that. Um, number one, chiropractic is extremely effective for treating these conditions. Um, sometimes, however, there is the theory or the principle of what's called the limitation of matter. And what happens is if an injury to a tissue um, is too much, that the body is unable to heal itself, then you might need to go into an external uh, mechanism or you might be limited as far as uh, what the actual healing process can do for uh, that body type or for that body. So for example, let's say that you're in a car accident and you actually tear ligaments and blow out discs in your neck. Well, chiropractically, there's not a whole lot that we can do for that because the tissue the limitation of matter that controls that tissue is now too damaged and so we can't get in there and fix that. Um, same thing, for example, with uh, let's say you have lumbar uh, degenerative joint disease, uh, low back degeneration or low back arthritis. Uh, if it's gone too far, then chiropractically we might be able to get you 20-30% relief, um, uh, but that might be our limitation because there's a limitation to what the body can do for itself at that point. But we do have something that can go a step further, and it's called non-surgical spinal decompression. And uh, we've had this service in our office now for about two and a half to three years. Uh, a lot of you don't know that we offer it. And um, what this uh, is for, we have it specifically for the low back or for the lumbar vertebrae. And for people that you know who are suffering from sciatica, um, stenosis, uh, degenerative joint disease, herniated bulging or prolapsed discs, um, you know, chronic low back pain, chronic leg numbness, chronic leg pain coming from the back. Any of these conditions that may, uh, they may either just be suffering through or they may have gone to chiropractors and it didn't work for them. Um, so they've given up on that avenue, which sometimes that's, that's the case. Sometimes chiropractic can't help these again if it's gone too far. Um, they may be getting steroid injections. They may be getting, uh, facing low back surgery. Um, they may be fa facing what's called neuroablation, which is where they go in and burn the nerves. Um, but anyway, any of these conditions, you can be facing treatments that may not be necessary. Um, low back surgery, for example, the New England Journal of Medicine says that 51% of all low back surgeries are unnecessary. 51%. That's a ton. I saw a statistic the other day. I saw two different statistics, one of which said that there's only a 15 to 40% success rate with low back surgeries, depending on the condition and the patient. 15 to 40% success rate. Do you realize as chiropractors, if we had that low of a success rate, we would be out the door? <laughs> um, now, you know, so low back surgery, number one, a lot of times it's not necessary. 51% of all back surgeries are unnecessary, according to the New England Journal of Medicine. And if it is necessary and it does get done, you might be looking at a 15 to 40% success rate. In other words, over 60% failure rate for these back surgeries. So that's a pretty significant thing to consider because once you go in and do surgery on the spine, especially if you put a fusion in there, um, you're dealing with scar tissue, you're dealing with an increase in the speed at which your back degenerates, you're dealing with a lot of future problems. And once you've done surgery, it's really hard to go back and repair that. So um, anybody that you know that might be facing uh, low, back, low back surgery or facing you know, steroid injections, which in my opinion are just a totally useless therapy. Uh, sometimes they do help with the pain, but it's a temporary thing and there are so many side effects that come from those. Um, that's, it's just, you know, if you can avoid that, if you can find something else, please do, because that's really a, not a great option. Um, you know, steroid injections, nerve burning, nerve blocks, uh, neuroablation, all these therapies that are very aggressive and very damaging to the body. Now, sometimes they're necessary. Again, I've had back surgery. I had back surgery when I was 24, and that's what put me into this profession. Um, I would not have done the back surgery if I knew then what I know now, but I think that things happen to us for a reason, and that's what puts us into a position in life to do what we do. So, um, you know, there... 
there are alternatives. So the non-surgical spinal decompression is designed specifically for people with herniated discs, bulging discs, um, stenosis, um, neuroforaminal encroachment, degenerative joint disease, arthritis, all of these chronic conditions which previously we've gone down the pain management pathway or the surgical pathway, you do have another option. So if you know anybody suffering from any of these conditions, before they go the chemical or the surgical rate, tell them to give me a call and we'll see if there's something that we can do for them. Um, we've helped a ton of people with this therapy. Some we haven't. I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna lie to you and say it's 100% panacea. It's not. Some people, it doesn't help. The vast majority, we've had over a 70% success rate in our office with this. So, um, you know, please, if you know anybody, let them know, have them give me a call at the office. We'll set up a consultation with them and see if there's anything that we can do for them. Um, tomorrow, I will try to take the camera to the office with me and shoot some video of the decompression machine. Um, but the decompression machine is actually that big Star Trek looking machine <laughs> in, the, uh, in the office uh, with the big table that if there's somebody on there, it's laying flat. But if there's somebody not on there, then the table is standing straight up. So um, it's a great therapy. It's something to really consider for anybody that you know, even yourself, if maybe you're having chronic low back pain and I haven't been back in to see me because you didn't think that the chiropractic worked, let me know. We might have another option for you. All right, everybody have a great day. As always, my hope for you is that we take control of your health before your health takes control of you. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.